Hey, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee. I'm looking at hive number two. It's my survivor hive. This is the hive that uh, uh, needed to be requeened, lost its queen or swarm. I requeened it on, in September. It had a decent number of bees. I decided to go into winter with two full deep boxes. And that was probably a mistake. I probably should have reduced it to uh, one. I did it and they survived okay, but they actually had a family of mice move in with them. They moved into the bottom brood box and the bees took all the resources from the bottom brood box, moved it all into the top, and they all survived the winter as one happy family in the top brood box. Actually two happy families because they had the squatter mice living in the bottom there. So I've been feeding these guys sugar water and you can see the problem I have here. And that is that mice have gotten into the, or sorry, uh, ants have gotten into the sugar water. And I know exactly why. It's because of uh, a mistake on my part, no surprise. Uh, I tried to use the same, um, the bee stuck in there, I'm tried to use the same shallow box that I used for my, uh, for my uh, candy board for winter. And it's got this half inch, half inch mesh on it. And what that did is it caused it caused a lack of a seal. See, so the bees were or sorry the ants were able to get in there. The bees couldn't get at that, so the ants went in and helped themselves. Now I checked this hive three weeks ago, and the bees had already cleaned out the uh, the, the sugar water. So uh, I may set them up again. I don't know if I have the tools to fix that and set up that uh, that box properly. So we'll just. Do an inspection here and see if they're up in the second brood box. If they built out some comb, they should have because they've had three weeks now and there were decent numbers in this hive. So, But the plan here is to see that they're in the second brood box, to see that they're building it out, and then probably to continue feeding them. Although with that failure of that, that shallow box, I'll probably have to do another one. So that's no problem. I'll just come back and replace that box. Okay, so looking for the queen on the inner lid. Do not see her. Set this down. And looks like they're not building much on the inside here, so let's see. Yeah, the inside frames, which are all completely unbuilt out, are exactly the as they were the day I put them in. Take a look. But the outside frames, which I intentionally, I intentionally put the outside frames as the drawn out frames, it looks like there's some activity there, so I'm gonna have a look at those. They might just be putting honey in there. But they look pretty built up. Let's see what we got. Okay, so as I suspected, lots of bees on this frame, and they've got this frame full of honey. They're full of nectar right now. It's not quite honey yet. Oh, look, it's on this side, it's nothing. On your side, it's nothing. On this side, it's all drawn out. So I'm not going to do too much more. They are drawing out the frames from the outside in, which really doesn't matter, I guess. As long as the queen knows she's got lots of room up here to lay, that's what's important. They'll get around to filling it up. She's got lots of room and um, I'm gonna keep feeding them, but I'm gonna have to change feeders. What I'll do is I will, uh, I'll bring a different feeder in or a different uh, box so that, um, these guys are already getting nasty. Probably leftovers from the previous hive, hive that I inspected. I'll bring a different deep box or I'll just remove the screening off this one so that the ants won't be able to get in. Just gonna take a quick look underneath here to look at the out underside of the brood box just to take a quick sort of cheating look for queen cells um, or supersedure cells. Yeah. Supersedure cells are usually on the bottom of the frame so they're pretty easy to spot. You just flip the box over and have a look at it without dropping the whole box on the floor. I'm looking here and I see no cells. 
So that's good. They have they have built up lots of honey in here, lots of stores, lots of brood. So I'm just gonna let this hive continue to thrive and make more bees and feed it and uh, the survivor hive continues to survive. Good news from 40 honeybees.